Good morning, boys. In a effort to turn our movement state machine into something that is a little bit more like an RPG game, we're going to have um, a look at a couple mechanics that makes up an RPG game. I know that in the comment section down below last week, somebody asked for a inventory system. We are not making that today, but we are building up to get to that point eventually. So uh, today is the very first step. We're going to be having a look at nine slicing images. So we can have some proper UI that scales properly for all the features we're going to have in the RPG, for example, a cast bar, which is coming next week, inventory system, and so on. So as always, you can skip to any section of the video you'd like to see by going on the YouTube chapter, so the scroll bar. Um, today is going to be about configuring your images and also creating borders for them. So it's very, very simple, but it's much required for what we're going to get uh, into next week. So that being said, let's get started. All right, so this image we see here right on the screen is an image that you can actually slice into nine. And we'll see a little bit more what I mean by that um, as we go through the video. But I just wanted to show you this image before we get started. And usually it doesn't have the black background, but obviously it's a little bit hard to see without. It is actually imported within Unity and it's just a normal image. So I just save a PNG within my, my engine right now. I'm gonna make sure to put that under 2D and UI hit apply and we're going to see what it looks like under this piece of UI here. That's what we're trying to change. As you can see, it's not, not really good looking, um, but it would look good if we had the proper resolution. So for example, I'm going to create a square and here the image looks just fine. Um, unless we were to actually stretch it out to a bigger extent. So for example, 1000 by 1000, in which case, these side here are a little bit too big for what we want. To fix this problem, we're going to be using a technique called nine slicing. And to nine slice is actually uh, a very simple process. So here on my image, I would want to be under slice. But as you can see, it says that this image doesn't have a border. So the first step we'll have to do to make this work is create border to our image. This is actually done on texture level. So uh, whatever we imported here, we transfer that into a sprite. Now do note that um, we're going to have to open the sprite editor, just like so, by clicking the sprite button. If that doesn't work, it just means that you don't have the 2D sprite package. So go ahead and install that if you don't have it. But I believe you should have it by default. Okay, now back on our image, we're going to be opening the sprite editor. And you'll see here at the bottom, you have the option to add borders. And this is actually where the nine slicing happened. So as you see here, as I'm moving this, you're going to see the green line move over. And what I want to do is I want to capture this whole circle here, this whole part here. I want to capture it in the nine slice area. So for example, 16 pixel on this side. I want to do the same thing for top. And since I know my image is symmetric, I can, I can just put 16 everywhere. And you can see here now that our image is split into nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can then hit apply. And now would you have a look at that? We already have what we want. And usually it has a fail center as well. And what's really fun with this is that you can resize it as much as you wish and the image is not going to mess up. So as you can see here, my image stays the same. And if you'd like to actually um, scale this at runtime, if you wanna make an animation in which this scales up, you don't have any problem with the image. So that's all you have to do to nine slice an image. We're gonna go a little bit further, however, and we're gonna be looking at tiling on top of that. So to do that, I will first open up this image, which is on Photoshop, and I'm actually going to input just some number here at the top so you can see it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I'll just put them here at the top in the center override this. I know my texture is quite small, so it's hard to see, but, but what I'm trying to show you will be quite easy to see. So as much as it work to scale it up prior to this, it doesn't work once we have something in the middle. So what we can do is in these, uh, in these area, in these, we can call them corridor here. So this place here, we can create a seamless texture and actually tile it up within the engine as well. So here, instead of using a slice image, now I'm going to be starting to use a tiled image. And you'll see this behavior right here. And it's just simply going to tile. It's really as simple as that. Uh, now you can see a glitch where my border might be a little bit too close and I do have nearest neighbor. 
Uh, that's because it's grabbing the the right side. So it's grabbing this part of the image here, uh, which is not desired. So maybe what I want to do is go under point no filter, and that's going to give us this behavior now, which looks a little bit more clean. Uh, but here, as you can see, you can now add texture in the middle and it's going to scale properly. That is all we had to do today. It's a very simple concept, but it makes your UI looks a lot better and it allows it to be used during runtime and also scale during the runtime. So that pretty much wraps up what we had to look for today. Um, I do recommend that you go ahead and you implement that in your game if that's not already in there. And uh, I also do encourage that you use some stretching animation on, on, for example, a speech bubble or some piece of UI because it shows that mechanic in work and it, I think it looks good personally. So I do recommend you do that. Next week, we're going to be having a look at CastBot, not just creating the piece of UI, but also creating the channel. So the, you know, you're channeling a spell that's going to be a build up, canceling that spell and, and stretching out the animation if we have to. So it's going to be a little bit more UI, but we're heading into a direction which we're going to be able to cast spells. So it's looking great. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be seeing you next week. Cheers. Are you looking to create a new mobile game? Would you like to go through all the cycles of development? Then if so, I've got the perfect solution for you. Come create this game with me, it's the Subway Skater. It would mean a lot to me if you went and you have a look at the class. It's a, it's a way for me to make a little bit of money while I'm doing the YouTube stuff and also the Udemy stuff. So it's much appreciated and if you decide to enroll the class, a rating over there would help me tremendously.